So there's a white faced Northern white faced owl having a good time in my hands. This was the one that was rescued some few days ago. It's been just six days, and I can tell you, they are just doing exceptionally well, well matured, and the white face is really, really showing. Very, very exciting. Yeah. Get it a close shot. You can see the face. Doing good. You hear all the sounds. And when they intimidated, they make some funny clacks. But they are still young. Yes. So you can understand why I, I am called Nana Petro Kwaibe too. Petro for real, because I got to live in ours, in my residence. So we can take a stroll, just around in my beautiful owl, as you can see. And we got a shot. We got the shot. We got the shot, yes. <laughs> so this one is named Preska. And Aquila is also there. We'll be displaying the two in no time, and you got to see them all. So live patrol and a nice patrol with in the dress. Now that patrol for you. Petting on our hands. And it's like they're having a good time, a good time, a good time. We are indeed the owlets. So, you get to understand that owls are not witches. Owls are never associated with the spirit of the dark world or the witchcraft. An owl, an owl on top of your house doesn't mean somebody in the house is marked for death by witchcraft, no. And an owl crossing your path can never be a bad woman. These are simply nocturnal birds of prey. They are only active during the night. You can see, I'm not having watches in my hands or living with me in my residence. No, we are having fun with birds and these are birds. So never harm an owl, never kill an owl. When an owl hoots, just hoot back at it. In the night, when you hear the sound of an owl, it's a nice way of saying, have a lovely sleep. Enjoy your evening. That is what it's trying to say. It means no harm at all. And here they are, fully residential. <laughs> this is Preska and this is Aqua. Yes, they have their own names. And we can identify them by their aggression. One looks a little bit bigger, the other can be sometimes ag aggressive. But all the same, we have them here. So these are the beautiful 
parables that live with me in my residence. And you saw them outside, they even come indoors. You know, they were brought in young, like I related the story in my last video. You're still going to see the part two. Uh, when they are young, they don't know how to feed by themselves. And they are fed on chicken and only on beef. Yeah, that's what we do for these uh, owls. But we realize that when you put the meat in the bowl, overnight it will still be there. That means they still have those instincts where the Amada feeds them. So you have to develop the skill of feeding the owl by hand. You put the meat in your hand, they pick it and they swallow it. And that is how these beautiful cuties have been fed in the last two days. And they are doing very, very phenomenal. Everybody in the family do support their growth and they're having a nice time. So again, these are the bosom pencils clothing line depicting the owls. This is the grayish eagle owl. You can see what I have here. That is the white faced owl, synonymous to what I have here. Very soon, this clothing line will come out and you can just purchase one to wear if you are indeed an owl fan. Indeed, as I say, owls are great. In Ghana, we are blessed with, I suppose, quite a number of varieties of owls. Uh, we have the African scops owl, we have the African wood owl, we have the Akun eagle owl, the Erosian scops owl, the Fraser's eagle owl, the Greyish eagle owl, as, as I have in my dress here. We have the man owl, the marsh owl, and we have the northern white-faced owl. You can tell closely from their faces. They have a characteristic white feathers within their facial disc. And that gives them their distinctive name, the northern white-faced owl. We have the pearl fishing owl, the rufous owl, the sandy scops owl, the shelly eagle owl, and quite a number of western barn owls as well. So you know, Nearly 15 owls and three owlets can be found in Ghana. And as you can tell, this may be just a few weeks old. They should be about two to three weeks old. And they are almost mature. They know how to feed. And in a matter of months, about two months, one, one and a half months to two months, they will be prepared for the wild. What we are currently doing, that we are training them on how to feed. Because they are so young now, we give them beef, chop them into small pieces, and they take a bit of chicken. As they mature and their digestive tracts also begin to mature, we're going to feed them with live mice, um, small lizards, insects, all in a bit to prepare them for life inside the world. Because we do not expect them to keep them forever. They should enjoy some freedom. After everything, they are going to back free into the forest, into the world. By which time, they would have been equipped with how to hunt and to hunt very well to be able to survive in the jungle. So for the short term, these two beautiful cuties will be with me. They are my housemates. I live with them and the whole family is responsible for them. Hi. Hi, you look too quiet for my liking. Yes, hi. Pet, yes, let's joke. Let's play. Hi. Hey, come up. Come up. You bite me. Come up, yes. Hi, hi. Give me a sound. Yeah, let's go. Come on, peck, 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 peck. peck. See their facial expressions. Yes, probably a call from the mother.
Yes, they are responding. Yes, that is how they respond to call. Oh, you heard the sound? That's me calling. I'm your mama. That was me calling. You are in good hands, you know that? The two of you are in good hands. You got it? Wanna play? Let's play! Let's play! Let's play! Let, oh, come on, yeah. Let me spend it. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, that is just amazing.